so I've seen the new um, thing that's come out about Diddy's um, this Busby's lawyer that's just spoken about multiple victims 120 and has gone on to um, give a bit more details that there a lot of them are coming forwards and they didn't because Diddy was not in prison before and now that Diddy is in prison he they feel less of a threat so you know I feel like that's that's a more of an excuse as to why people are coming forwards now because they feel less threatened but I and he said that a lot of people have made reports and it has been reported they did report it straight after the event you know what what baffled me as to why I did not believe this is because all well the, the two or three cases were like 20 30 years old and it, to me it doesn't make sense why you would wait so long to report it if it was really that bad you would report it straight away um, and and stuff with Cassie I, I felt like might have just been fictional because um, I, I called her angel of devil te uh, the angel of devil the devil's teas um, and I have been talking about going through some sort of well creating inventing some sort of fictional relationship um, to test the world to see you know who I'm Babylon the Great, you know, uh, Babylon the Great is an evil character in the Bible and I'm pretty sure that if people saw me as being Babylon the Great they're not going to care about what happens to me um, and they'll probably want to blame me for all the world's sin and if I was being blamed for the world's sin, which is something that I, ha I shouldn't be blamed for, yes I'm God, but I... I I made humans and therefore all your intelligence and all the things that you've done over the timeline is my fault because I was the one who made, made you but at the same time you need to take responsibility for your own actions um, <clears throat> but yeah this is part of the test I wanted people to hurt me and then when Cassie came up with that that lawsuit you know it was just like well this is obviously this probably is fake I mean it, it seemed fake because she I named her straight she did that a few weeks after I named her this and 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 the little rod just seemed to be lots of nitpicking and I never saw anything that's real but this this thing has completely changed the sort of narrative of, of the past and it's almost, it's almost like they've rewritten history and and he's he's saying my hair looks bad again and he's saying that um that they, there have been multiple reports and multiple claims um but people haven't taken it seriously okay this begs the question why haven't been people been taking it seriously you know if lots of people have been claiming that there's some you know wrong activity going on in in the Diddy parties why have police not got involved earlier so this makes me think is this all lies um is this just people who have been um are worded by other people in a party and and are trying to just blame it all on Sean just because they can and they want attention you know i i don't know the details um i have a feeling that this busby guy does not know about me because um, I don't know I mean I, I was uncertain at first but he, he definitely seems to be taking this very seriously and it's very he's very convincing that he believes that these cases might might be the truth um, so because of that I, I feel like I don't know I, I know there's a lot that I don't know but one thing I do know is that the things that are being alleged to happen in these parties to these victims are the things that I want to happen to me in some sort of fake sacrifice and and it's it's is this just a coincidence that I've been talking about this for three four three four years ago and now I mean Diddy is a perfect person to pick on because he comes off a bit mad you know he's always promoting God the Father I don't support God the Father so you know if, if someone was to say this is videos keeps freezing if someone was to say that I'm supporting him because I'm his fan I ain't a fan of Diddy I I think if Diddy tried to hit on me uh, I would just be like no 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 <laughs> you stay stay your ground you know he, he seems he seems a bit not my type he seems a bit mad I, I like R Kelly he's he seemed very strong um and and Diddy just seems a bit like a bit of a loose cannon um and you know these these I believe it's it's very believable that he's been spiking drinks you know if someone takes drugs themselves if someone you know takes like say you take four or five lines of of cannabis or something or what the pow the white powder is or pink powder I don't even know what the pink powder is but if he if he's taking four or five lines or perhaps even six lines a day you know he might go into a state where he's not thinking straight and he might do some strange shit um, and getting a couple of these lines and putting it in a punch bowl 
um, you know, is definitely something that I think he would do. I think it's something that many people might do if, if they're high, if they think that this drug is, is great, you know, they might feel like if, if I put a couple of lines in the punch bowl, you know, I'm doing people a favor. And, and therefore it is very believable that he's spiked drinks, but it's not very believable that he's spiked drinks in the hope of p making people pass out and then raping them and then passing them around a bunch of people. You know, this is, this is a big difference. Spiking a punch bowl because you want people to loosen up. Say if you yourself love drug drugs and you believe that they are helping you, they're giving you energy. You know, people who take drugs do it because they think it's good for them. Now, if someone's capable of believing that drugs are good for them, they are also very capable of believing that drugs are good for you too. You know, if these drugs that that they are being taken is the same things that he has been taking, um, then it is believable that. Um, he has been spiking people's drinks because he wants them to feel the same way that he has. You know, if you're spiking someone's drink with the same thing that you have been taking, that is very different to spiking them with that date rape drug, whatever it is, the one that makes you forget everything the next night. And and yeah, and I, I don't know the story, but I, I feel like I need to take it a little bit more seriously now because he said that people have it's been happening fairly recently and people have been reporting it. If people have gone through it and then gone to the hospital the next day and then made a report then, then I would take their, their, their case very, very seriously. The reason why I've not taken this case very seriously is because all the information that I've heard seems, you know, Cassie was supposed to have been beaten up in 2006, yet stayed with him to 2018. So obviously, whatever happened, there must have been something in her head that thought this was justified. How he treated her in that video must have been slightly justified. You know, if you piss someone off and they're on drugs and you yourself are on drugs, you know, that night might be vague for you. It might be vague for the other person. You know, it got heated. You know, things went in the wrong direction. Um, I'm not excusing his actions, but I am saying that um, maybe Cassie hit him first and he, and this was a sort of I want my revenge and I'm on drugs and I'm, I'm acting inappropriately so I'm saying that there's reasons why that's something that happened but yeah this is this what he's saying on this clip sounds like it's I should I will take it differently if people have have <clears throat> had reports of being r-worded and passed around and then and then the next day actually reported it then I would have a lot more respect for them if, if something bad has happened and you've just ignored it, I feel like part of the reason why you ignored it is because you want to blame yourself. And if you're blaming yourself, I feel like maybe you have put yourself in that position. Maybe you did agree to do stuff. You know, people say, oh, I can do this, I can do this, you know, I can give you a good career. You go and sleep with them. And then the next day, he, he doesn't want to talk about it and he wants nothing more to do with it. You know, I can imagine that happening and I can imagine Diddy being the type of a person that would make promises just to get a girl in bed and then the next day act like he never made that promise. You know, I, I think that's incredibly belie believable and it, it's, it's unfair and it's not good practice, but does he deserve to go to prison for it? You know, if it was all consensual and, and the woman feels responsible, you know, partly the woman might be responsible for, for just being gullible. You know, there's a lot of gullible people in the world and sex is not... A hugely wrong thing rape is but there is a difference between having sex with someone because they are hoping to get something from you the next day and having sex with someone because they are you've drugged them and they are out of it so I'm I'm not gonna say too much more about this case because I, I want to hear the details if you give me details that doesn't sound ridiculous um, I will believe it if, if, if your details are of if all the cases are of 24 or 5 years ago and, and they're very vague, you know, the, the two cases that have been claimed so far were just <clears throat> them doing a recording, them having drinks, them getting, maybe taking drugs and, and then finding themselves having sex in, in you know, I, I think it is possible to be on drugs and believe that you are having sex with someone that's consenting when in their mind they might just be like, I didn't really consent to this, but did I? I don't really know, because I, I was taking the drugs too. And you can't prove that that drug that they took was against their will. It, you can't prove that they didn't know that they were taking it. You know, If you're going to the police and talking about taking drugs, you know, you wouldn't go to the police and say, I took drugs and then someone raped me. No, you, you would change the, the narrative, change the story and say, they forced me or they did it against my will. And, and this happened and I didn't want that. But if you're, if you're reporting it straight after, then I, I think it's believable 
but if you're waiting 20, 30 years, then it's not believable. But if there's supposed to be 120 victims, then why has every single one of these people taken years and years to report it? Now, if, if the case was that they were reporting it, just no one was listening, um, I think that's believable because I think the whole of, <laughs> there's a lot of people in America that just don't care. They just live their own lives. They, they have no interest in helping people. Um, they only help people if it, if it helps themselves. And, um, and yeah, I, I think if people want to help this case now, it might help themselves because there's a lot of people that might want publicity and, oh yeah, I helped a victim and, oh yeah, the, 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 the police now or the FBI are taking an interest in me because I'm giving them information about a victim. You know, I, I feel like there, there might be a lot more reason to help these victims, but I, I still don't want to call them victims until I've heard the actual details, but yeah. If, if these victims are all people that are just claiming an event that happened 20 years after, you know, and if they've got no evidence, I mean, the thing is, once you've left it seven years, you don't have evidence. You don't have evidence that you were at that party. Okay, you might have had evidence that there's a picture of you, but do you have evidence that you actually went into his bedroom? Do you have actually evidence of anything? You know, if, if it's seven years later, the bedroom probably change. If you describe what the bedroom looks like, you'd probably give a completely different, because it's probably different. I mean, if you can give details, but it's, it's harder and it's harder. The longer you wait, the harder it is to prove. So anyone that's waited, seven years has to be the cutoff. I, I, if there's a report in the last seven years that proves that this happened, I think if, if, if he wasn't famous, then, um, and, and all these reports were being made, it would, it would make sense. You know, I've, I've heard, what's that, that Harrods guy. I think those ones are far more believable because I, I don't get good vibes off, off the Harrods guy. You know, I've seen that case, case in the news um, where these women were being reported of sexual harassment. You know, are they coming forward just because he's died and now they want to gain access to compensation money through his will or through the money that he's left behind? Maybe. Um, but at the same time, I, I just, I don't get good vibes by him and I, I don't think they're doing it for the fame. You know, I, I, I feel like there's, the, there's more truth in it. I feel like it's taken more seriously, whereas it was, it is famous. And I feel like as soon as you get that fame credibility, um, there's, it changes everything. And, and I, the, it's questionable with Diddy because he does have a, a certain amount of madness to him, you know. There was an AI video that I saw yesterday and um, Elon Musk was asking him questions about whether he did it or not. And, and Diddy then started acting very, very strange in a sort of similar ma manner to how you would expect, like like just freezing up and, and then just going, Whoa! and, and it, I think at the end it said fake dub. So it, it's proof. I think that fake dub tap is proof that the whole video was just AI created, but it was very, very convincing. It sounded like him. It looked like him. Elon Musk kind of looked and sounded like him too, but it, it was kind of believable. And and then it's just, it's really scary how, how, how evidence like that can be just taken and, and gone out of proportion. But it, 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 it bothers me definitely because I'm, I'm in some sort of prison and I'm, I'm waiting every single day for, for, um, my arrest and, and for, a group of people, the elites or whoever, just with money, people with money to come and say, yes, we're, we're ready to help you now. And then they'll take me to a house and then we'll expose to the world that I'm Israel, Jerusalem. And if you look at any video that talks about, you know, the world ganging up on Jerusalem and Israel, it's not talking about the place in the Middle East. It's talking about me and what I've gone through in the last 12 years. You know, I'm waiting for this day and it's been such, such a long time and, and, and it's, I've, I've gone through so much now that I feel like I can't even be very sympathetic, even if Diddy did have video, videos, even if Diddy has been doing this, I mean, it doesn't make sense because I'm pretty sure two years ago when I, when I first named him Angel of God the Father, I, I reacted in a post and he reacted back and it, it felt like his spirit knew and then later he started posting things you know about there's one person he really wants to make a film with, a song with you know i felt like that was talking to me that there's, there's tiny little bits of evidence that i have that he knows about me now if he's known about me for two years and knows that i'm christ and god why would he be our wedding unconscious people you know because he, he would know that i wouldn't support that or agree with that unless it's it's just a, a fake test to see who you know who would who who would believe this and who would 
how many liars would come up? You set a set a bunch of stories where people say this, and then and then you say here's a hotline to come and make a call and make a claim about something you think Diddy has done, and maybe the lawyer himself actually believes or is 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 told that these these might all be true. You know, I'm not convinced that this this Busby lawyer is actually on my side. I'm not convinced that he knows um, that this is that that maybe the Cassie story was fake. I, you know, I, I don't think he knows that. And if he doesn't know that, then he might be taking all these allegations very very seriously. As as all, you know, if you're if you're trying to get these people to report stuff, it's probably best to but to make them talk to people who generally do believe them because it will be a more convincing conversation and they'll be willing to say more. But if you yourself you know, if Diddy knows that Christ is on earth right now and is me and isn't going to support um, rape of, of random people, you know, or rape of group rape or something, you know, I ain't going to support this. And if he's known about me for two years and I don't believe that he would be doing this stuff. Um, and I think if he did believe, he, he probably would have gone straight into hiding and not come forward to, um, you know, he would, he would know that he'd have a, a whole back cat catalogue of secrets to, to be kept secret. Um, but then he would also know that I don't like the world and I hate people and it's, it's hard to feel sorry for these, these people who are victims when I know that these people who are victims probably also go to church, probably also worship the Antichrist, probably if I told them that I was Babylon the Great they would just be like, you're not, I don't care, this is this nothing, nothing to do with me and they wouldn't take an interest if I told them that I've been lying on a bed for 12 years feeling like a prisoner of my own home because the whole world is worshipping a, a false god um, whilst pretending that they're worshipping the true god um, you know, would they care? Would they have any sympathy for me? And I find it very hard to have sympathy for others if they don't have sympathy for me, you know I, I, heard, um, I heard that Gaga was, was raped when she was 19 um, and and left pregnant um, but she also said that it was something she didn't want to do but she mildly agreed by not running out the room so I think someone was pressurizing her for sex and she, and she kind of didn't want to um, but just put up with it because she felt like it was the only way to get her career into the next stage and you know she said it in a very very sad upsetting it hurt it wasn't nice it wasn't pleasant kind of way um but then i'm also thinking about all the songs that she did against me in 2013 2014 i was I, I thought she knew about me i thought she was told about me and and how you know singers are representing me through their songs and and yet every single one of her songs was just sick and disgusting and you know she looked more like a devil than than a god and you know i, I noticed that and and therefore when i think about what she went through I, I also think about what I have gone through and what she put me through and it, it makes me not care and, and therefore if there are victims who have gone through this you know I can also imagine these same victims knowing that this same stuff is happening to me and them not caring and, and them not paying an, in, paying an interest you know people are watching this case and they're feeling a huge amount of sympathy or may, many people might be hu feeling a huge amount of sympathy for the victims but I feel like part of the reason why they feel sympathy for the victims is because they think, oh, I could have been at that party, this could have happened to me, I feel sorry because of this. But I just, I feel if the, if the tables were turned, and if I was to say that I was God, I was the creator of humans, the human species, and, um, and I was the creator of the Christian religion, who, or inspirer of the Christian religion, and, and the Christian religion is full of flaws and lies and, and is inaccurate, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to be like, you ain't Christ, you ain't God, and then I feel like they're just, they're just not going to care about anything that I've gone through. And if I'm looking at these people who are not caring about what I'm going through, you know, it's just going to make me think, well, I don't care what you go through, you know, I, 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 I'm at a stage where I don't want to participate in the world, I don't want to go out, I don't want friends, I don't want a life, I, I just want to lie in bed every single day and hope that I die soon. You know, This is the position that I've been in for three or four or five years and therefore stories like this, I, I don't feel anything for the victims because I, I feel myself as being far more of a victim and I'm, I'm just wondering, do these people care about me? And I, and I want this test of who to find out who cares about me to happen and I, and I, I believe that there's a need there needs to be some sort of 
build up to it and uh, and I'm, I'm wondering if this is part of the build up and I and it's, I want to think about myself because I've gone through too much for for me to not think about myself um, and and, and I, I don't I don't know if this has got anything to do with me you know I, is is the plan to um, make out that Diddy's been arrested for you know for in, in prison for a whole year and then in like a year's time when you come and get me just sort of get the Illuminati to break him out and and then say that um, I don't know all the rituals that you were doing in in the past you know I, I'm noticing that there's a lot of media attention and media coverage over this and I'm, if they're going to be coming up with tons more lawsuits you know this this mil this build up of of um, you know, it's it's building up to something. You can sense that it's building up to something. People are getting interested. People are caring, and and I I, I want, in a way, for it not to be blamed on Dilly, but it to be blamed on me. And and um, because I I hate the whole world, and I want to test the whole world, and and I want the world to hate me because I, I despise them. I want them to hate me as much as I hate them and then I want to test them on, on who wants to, who cares about me because I, I can't care about people if, if they don't care about me. Um, Hello Mummy! Mummy! Um, Mummy! 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 Um, I don't see him that often. Um, but yeah, I I would love to believe that there's a, a build up, and that it's, it's going to amount to something. I just really wish I knew the date, and it's not looking like it's going to be October. It's the Feast of Trumpets the day. When is most likely? I don't know. The next day possible is Halloween, and when people are going to start talking to me. Um, but yeah, Christ is supposed to be um, arrested just before Easter. Um, but next year, Easter's April 20th, so three days before that is like April 17th, which seems like an odd day to, to come and get me. Um, I know that I met Martin on March the 7th, and if, if, if 2025 is supposed to be like a repeat of 2013, then I guess that there's a chance that the father or just people who know about me um, start talking to me on March the 7th um, and then take me somewhere on March the 11th and and then we expose um, who I am later on in the year and then give people a year to come to the terms of me being Israel, me being Jerusalem, the world being against me for a very very long time and, and I, I don't know how this Diddy case would relate to me because technically I would want myself to look like um, a victim of this but also you could make out that spiritually this is happening because of me I mean it is because this is what I've been talking about for a long time um, having having up a fake sacrifice only um, yeah like like what like what these victims are going through I want I want this to happen to me only um, for it to just be something that the public knows about and not something that's actually the truth. Um, but yeah. <laughs>